And uh, there are four students from Millersville that will be baptized today. I want to give just a brief explanation of what baptism is all about. And I would also want to, uh, I want to thank the friends and the family of those being baptized for being here today. Uh, it's great to be baptized with support and friendships and love. And that's why we're all here is because when you're baptized, the Bible talks about you being baptized into the body of Christ, meaning his people. So I don't believe the Bible teaches you're baptized into a specific local church that you become a member of, but you become a member of the body of Christ. And so many of us here are part of the body of Christ, even though we may not know each other, and that's exciting. Baptism is really all about um, a symbol or a, an expression of what God has done within, a work in our hearts. And so as you hear the testimonies of the students today, what you're going to hear is, God did something within me, now I want to express it on the outside. Water is often used in the Bible to talk about a cleansing or a washing, and hopefully most of you understand that by taking showers, that water is something that washes away dirt, and that's exactly what Jesus Christ does for us, is he washes away the dirt, but on the inside, and so as they get baptized today, you're going to see them getting all wet, getting washed by water, it's reminding us that it's the washing of what Christ does in our lives to get rid of the sin. Sin is something that all of us have from birth. It's just part of our nature. And when we come to faith in Christ Jesus, he takes away the sin. And as the scripture says, he gives us a new life or a new creation. So 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creation the old is gone and the new has come. We baptize people one time backwards under the water to say the old is gone and then we raise you up to the new things, the new life in Christ. It also reminds us of the death and resurrection of Jesus who when he died, he was laid in the tomb. For three days he laid in the tomb, but on that resurrection morning, he came back to life. And so there's that aspect of a death and resurrection that we see in baptism today. Many, many uh, pictures, many symbolisms that we see that are in the Word of God and that we participate in. The other thing that we look at in Scripture is Jesus himself being baptized. And if Jesus is our model, if Jesus is the person that we pattern our lives after, then we follow him into baptism. Jesus' baptism was not because he had sins to be forgiven and cleansed of. His baptism was more of one to say, this is what is necessary for righteousness sake. It's what's necessary to set the example for you to follow. And we understand that Jesus was baptized probably about the age of 29 is what most people believe. So he was an adult he was making that decision to enter into the water of the Jordan River. I've been to the Jordan River and it's not as clean as this is. And so if you think being in a farm pond is dirty and scummy and all that, the Jordan River is even worse. I like being baptized in a pond because if you're wash washing away dirt, then it just feels right to be in a place where dirt is welcomed and it can go in there. Uh, so that's okay. The exciting thing, though, is that there are people's lives who are still being changed and touched by this Jesus who is alive today. We don't see him in person, but he lives and he has sent the Holy Spirit saying, you can experience me and you can know me by the Spirit of God. And so we believe the Spirit of God is present here. The Spirit of God lives within those who accept the Lord Jesus as Savior. Now, as we go into the water, I've asked each person if there is someone that they would like to have join us. I will be on one side, somebody else on the other. Somebody that has meant a lot to their spiritual journey. 
And so we'll start with Ben, and he's asked his father to join us in the water, which is awesome and wonderful. So we're going to go in the water first, and if you just step a little bit to the side so people can see. I see there's some fish waiting for us out here, so let's join them. Ben, you have come here to profess your faith in Christ. By your baptism today, are you saying that you are welcoming the Holy Spirit to do whatever he wants to do in your life? Amen. Then upon your confession of faith, then we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. here today and shared your testimony with us and by your baptism are you asking the Holy Spirit to do whatever he wills in your life yeah. Yeah. on your confession of faith and we baptize you in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit Lord, we thank you for this testimony, this witness that Bree has brought to us today of your saving work in her life. Lord, I ask that your Holy Spirit would fill her afresh for the walk that she has with you from this day forward. As you spoke to your son, Jesus, you said, this is my child whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. May that affirmation and love be upon Bree today. In the name of Jesus, amen. Denise, I've been asked Dave as her small group leader to assist in the baptism. Shanice, you have come here and shared your testimony and by your baptism. Are you asking the Holy Spirit to do whatever he wills in your life? Yes. Amen. On your confession of faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for uh, bringing Shanice to us, and um, just thank you that she is is so willing to uh, let you work in her life. Um, and Lord, we just pray that uh, you would give us a, a great year together with Shanice, and that when when she returns home, that she would just take some of the fire that we light in her heart back with her. Alina, 
you've come here to share your testimony and enter the waters of baptism. Are you asking God by his spirit to do whatever he wills in your life? Definitely. Lean upon your confession of faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. There was two other students who wanted to be baptized but had other obligations today. So they're going to get baptized next Sunday. Sometimes when people witness a baptism, they say, I need to let God work in my heart and do something there too. So if any of you are feeling somehow moved by God to take a step of faith or commitment, um, please feel free to talk to me or anyone that was baptized. Uh, so we'll have another baptism next week and possibly later in the semester again too. Thank you for coming. Please feel free to greet the people, give them a hug if you don't mind getting a little wet. <laughs> and thank you for being here. God bless you.